How do fish use electricity? This has always been a mystery to me. So on this episode of Ask Me What, I will tell you five facts about electricity and fish. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button and activate the bell. That way you receive notifications for new episodes. So electric fish, what kinds exist? How do they function? Where can we find them? First, there are two types of fish that interact with electricity. Electroreceptive fish, like sharks and rays, and electrogenic fish, such as eels and catfish. Electrogenic fish generate electric fields, whereas electroreceptive fish have the ability to detect electric fields. Technically, electrogenic fish are electric fish, whereas electroreceptive fish are not. Why? Electroreceptive fish do not generate electricity. They simply detect it. Let me explain. So, electroreceptive fish are able to detect electric fields using specialized nerves, tissues, and cells. Depending on the type of species, the fish uses its electroreceptors for different purposes. A shark, for example, will use electrosensors in its snout and head to detect nearby prey. These sensors are called the ampullae of Lorenzini. But again, sharks do not actually produce electricity. They just use the electric fields and they find their meal. Now, let us talk about electrogenic fish. These are fish that actually produce electricity with their organs. Smaller electrogenic fish use their sensors for navigation, communication, or to avoid predators. These are called weakly electric fish. Their discharge is usually less than one volt. Poor little fishes. Then there is the strongly electric fish. As I mentioned, electrogenic fish have a very special electric organ, usually located in their tail. This organ is what generates their electric discharge. And in strongly electric fish, such as an eel, that discharge can be huge. The data differs, but some eels have been reported to discharge as much as 860 volts of electricity, equaling four to eight times the voltage of a stand-up plug. Wow! For fish, discharge and ability to read the electric field also depends on their habitat. Salt water is much more conductive than river water. So for you beach goers, watch out! Now, just to recap today's episode. Electroreceptive fish use their sensors to locate predators and prey. They do this by detecting changes in the electric field. Electrogenic fish are separated into two categories. Strongly electric fish use discharges to stun their prey, and weakly electric fish use discharges for navigation, communication, and mating too. So, if you ever want to catch an electric fish, toss your cell phone in a river and the fish will notice right away. Just kidding, April Fools, or as we say in France, Poisson d'Avril, April fish. And remember, humans are not the only ones who need electricity. Fish too use electricity every day to communicate, to eat, to navigate, to survive. Amazing, isn't it? Even the ocean would be different without electricity. À bientôt!